So in this video, we'll be taking the derivative of e to the x using a method called implicit differentiation. I will be releasing another video very soon with a similar proof, but rather than using implicit differentiation, it will be using the limit definition of the derivative. However, that's going to require a little bit more calculus 2 knowledge. This is implicit differentiation, which is something that you learn very early on in calculus 1. So it's a little more accessible to us than the later on calculus 2 series material, which is going to be covered in the next video. So we have our function y is equal to e to the x, and we want to evaluate dy by dx, or the derivative of y with respect to x. So what we want to do is we want to isolate x on this side. So what we can do is we can take the natural log of both sides that way. This happens. The ln of y will be equal to, we can drag the exponent down to the front, so this becomes x times the ln of e. Now the ln of e has a constant value of 1, so that entire thing will completely vanish. So this just becomes 1. So the ln of y is actually equal to x. Now what we can do here is we can take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So we take d by dx of ln of y and d by dx of x. Now this is a y function trapped within an ln of x function, so we will be using the chain rule in order to differentiate this, where it is that we will have our outer function, f of x will be ln of x, our inner function, g of x, will be y, our f prime is the derivative of our outer function, which is just 1 over x, and our g prime, which is the derivative of y, which is just dy by dx which is essentially what it is that we will be solving for later on in the video. So if we wanted to take the derivative of this, all we would need to do is plug in g wherever, g wherever it is that we see x in our f prime. So this will be 1 over y, and then multiply that entire expression by g prime, which is dy by dx. So let's go ahead and write that down. This will become 1 over y multiplied by dy by dx, 1 over y times dy by dx is equal to the derivative of x, which is just 1. And now we, what we want to do is we want to isolate dy by dx. So what we can do here is multiply both sides of the equation by y, leaving us with dy by dx is equal to y. And if you look up here, y is our initial function. It's exactly what it is that we started with. So dy by dx is equal to y, which is also equal to e to the x. And that is how you differentiate e to the x using implicit differentiation.